I feel very fortunate that in our backwoods exists a unique type of wetland habitat. This shallow, unassuming pond is actually vital for the life history requirements of several Massachusetts amphibians, and it is referred to as a vernal pool. Vernal pools are seasonal small bodies of water that unlike a true pond or lake, have no permanent inlet or outlet and they fill up with water during autumnal rains, winter precipitation, and snow melt in early spring, and most dry up during the summer. And because they do dry up, it prevents fish from being established, thus allowing amphibians to lay eggs and for the subsequent larvae to grow in a habitat free of fish predators. Vernal pools are also important for some invertebrate species and several species of turtles that often migrate between permanent sources of water and vernal pools to search and hunt for food. And one of my favorite amphibians that breeds in vernal pools is the spotted salamander. The spotted salamander is a large salamander they are bluish black with two irregular rows of yellow or orange spots that run the length of their bodies. Spotted salamanders live in moist forests throughout much of the eastern United States and Canada. They are carnivores and prey upon insects, worms, slugs, spiders, and millipedes. Despite their size, striking coloration, and how common spotted salamanders are throughout most of their range, they are not easy to find due to their nocturnal secretive habits. During the day, these salamanders stay well hidden under leaf litter, logs, and subterranean burrows. But during early spring rains, just as the ground begins to thaw, spotted salamanders along with other amphibians emerge from hibernation and migrate from their terrestrial habitats to vernal pools. If conditions are ideal, amphibian migrations can consist of incredible numbers. Spotted salamanders may travel several hundred yards and rely on chemical cues for directions and will show vernal pool fidelity, likely visiting the same vernal pool they had hatched out from. Spotted salamanders have a unique method of breeding, so although male and females may have some physical contact, the males actually deposit packets of sperm called spermatophores on the bottom of vernal pools, which are then subsequently picked up by the females prior to egg laying. Females attach the eggs to underwater sticks and stems of plants and are protected by a jelly-like coating. Spotted salamander eggs sometimes contain green algae, which consume the carbon dioxide that the salamander embryos produce and convert it into oxygen that the growing embryos can now use. The eggs hatch in about two to four weeks. The larvae look similar to frog tadpoles, but have feathery gills on their heads. They primarily feed on zooplankta and insect larvae. Over the next several weeks, the larvae, similar to frog tadpoles, begin to grow limbs, and usually by early summer, completely metamorphosize into miniature adults and leave their aquatic life behind, only returning to breed themselves in a few years. A quick mention on the marbled salamander, a close relative to the spotted. Marbled salamanders have evolved to lay their eggs in the fall just before autumnal rains begin to fill up the vernal pools. And the females will actually protect their eggs under moist leaf litter, moss, rotting logs, while awaiting for the vernal pools to fill up with water. So for the last couple of nights, the conditions have been ideal for spotted salamanders to begin migrating to their vernal pools. And when I came out here last night to check, sure enough, I captured a lot of spotted salamander activity. Here is some of that footage.
Before leaving the vernal pool for the night, I was pleasantly surprised to find this four-toed salamander. Today's goal is to see if any of the spotted salamanders laid their eggs. All right, success. There are a couple of spotted salamander egg sacs here and one over here. So here is a large collection, maybe a few dozen wood frog egg sacs. I noticed that there is some development, so these were probably laid a week or more ago. All right, so here we have two wood frog egg sacs and two spotted salamander egg sacs. So this is a good illustration to compare the two amphibian egg masses. It is the following day and the rain has not let up. And I suspect that more spotted salamanders arrived last night to this vernal pool to lay some more eggs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the first few that I found yesterday and see if any more have been laid in that cluster of branches. Wow, not sure how well you can see that. So there was two here yesterday, two spotted salamander egg sacs. And now, there is about a dozen or more, basically on the same one or two branches. So I'm gonna take the external mic off this GoPro and submerge it. This is awesome. If you live in the Northeast and it is early spring, the next time it is rainy and chilly out and you consider such conditions raw and miserable, just remember that these conditions are needed for a natural wonder to occur in a vernal pool. Thank you and please consider subscribing.